Uh, first thing you have to do is uh, make sure that all of the uh, uh, tubing is smooth, paint is dry, and there's no uh, exposed tubing, uh, non-painted areas. So we've uh, got the stitch ready and uh, laid it down flat and trimmed off the excess and we're pretty well ready for some glue uh, polytech we use. So we've got it all clamped in and we've got to put another clamp on this area right here just to keep it more or less tight. Take the scissors, take the scissors and trim along a good half an inch on the edge, right around. Right around the old thing, trim off all the excess, right around the old elevator. Now we have some poly brush. Don't need that. Yeah, polytech. Need some polytech here. And a little container. And a brush. Small applicator brush. Now, what I've done, I've glued right along this edge, over as far as here, and around this turn. So we just bring this tight. Bring it tight all the way along, and uh, hopefully things will work. Keep uh, applying the Polytech along this surface right here on top, just on the top of the saw, and then bring it down and tuck it tight. Okay, what we're doing here today, we're putting polyfiber on the uh, elevator of a uh, Merlin ultralight. Make sure everything's clean, it's all painted, painted up, and uh, get it ready for the first application. So we need to cut a hole, cut a hole right here for hinge elevator hinge. Same thing on this side here. So when the glue is installed. It will fit in over that and have it tightened. This should go down over, right down around at least one inch around the tubing. So, anyway, we'll get the Polytech and make our first application along there. Have that. <coughs> now, we just lay it down and turn the heat down. 200 for initial burning. The final one would be 350. Well, we just uh, take some of the, uh, the slack out of it. Take it off. And this is uh, some of the edges here. Two little, two little 
just stick your fingers in there and give it a push. Oh, that's an off note. I haven't heard any yet that didn't come out, so. Little pieces you cut them off. Stick to the ground, razor blade. If you can't get them out into the bag, you can use a bit of MEK in there to loosen up, loosen it up a bit. But the more heat that's on there, guaranteed stuff out. Initial type shouldn't be too much. So. And there we go. <coughs> Put it up there. Okay, I'll let you do it the first one. <coughs> A couple more little wrinkles right there. They're up to. Yeah, there's your tail. Okay, now that should be dry. The glue polytech should be dry right on around. So we should be able to uh, take the clamps off and trim with the uh, carrying scissors. Hopefully. And so let's turn it over. Take your scissors and you just cut it off. Cut it off enough that uh, start up here, sir. I'll start right here. Enough that it will tuck in around the edge of the tubing that's left. So all the way around, leaving about the same amount. Just make sure, check every now and then that it goes in. Lots. About a half an inch, I guess. That's about a half an inch. Those scissors are really excellent because they don't leave any little pieces hanging off, no pieces hanging off at all. So save all your little pieces for uh, or of scrap for uh, little little pieces you'll need some <coughs> in different spots. Later on there's a pretty tight. piece of stitch that I'm using here, the polyfiber, is a little bit older, 1.7 ounce square yard. Okay, <coughs> now we can apply some, some uh, polytech. some polytech finish along the edges there and tuck it in according to as you're going and this is how it's done just bring it down tuck it in make sure we get down into the recesses 
Yes. Probably the glue, probably take. We're not allowed. Then take your fingers and bring it in over and secure it to your tubing. Tuck all the edges in. Try to get the try to get it down. This is what it should look like. That polytech is really sticky stuff. Keep the Tejas. Well, that's all I've done. <coughs> take out the clamps there. And just take the, this one there and just come up like that. Put the glue here. And we'll do 
just so they know you know they're in there and they'll make that. No, that's pretty well, pretty well ready there. A little bit of trimming on the bottom of these always edges, and we need to just make a little cut right there. And there, you might have to pull that up, up a bit. And the same thing right there. Back and trim that in. And the same thing on this side. And that's that one. And the same thing right there, just a little dab there. And over on this side, same thing. A little dab there. And wherever it's sticking up, you just just put a little dab of high tech. Some places you might have to lift it off. Yeah, just get right over to it. Okay. ready to uh, iron, iron on along here at uh, how you go from 250 to 300 and iron again smooth when it dries and that will uh, seal it up. Yeah, so that's it. Here's the first coat from gray. Stabilizer. Horizontal stabilizer. 